So, um, you all know about Niagara Falls. It is one of the biggest and most be uh, beautiful, majestically visited waterfalls in the world. Of course, some of my listeners are New Yorkers, so they would know. Some of my best subs are New Yorkers, so they would know. This place is flanked between two countries. One side is on the Canadian side and the other is on our side in the United States. I don't know the statistics of how this happens in Canada, the unalivings. But I know of this being common on the United States side, whether they're American born or foreign born. I, this is one of those things that's morbid and I don't want to keep up with stats. Not every person that visits uh, Niagara Falls visits with great intentions. Some literally visit to do something that is very, very sad. So I know by now y'all have seen the story, okay, of the mother in New York. I saw this a few days ago and was going to wait for more information and glad that I did. So what happens is that we're first told by the Daily Mail, single mother takes her nine-year-old and five-month-old child with her. They all leap from the uh, waterfall and as you know Niagara Falls is one of the few in the world that there have been people who have jumped or leaped over this in unalivings decades ago and, and, and their bodies have still not been found and that is how deep and heavy the flows are with this thing once you go over there is no guarantee that your body will ever be recovered Though the though with modern technology they can easily find some people. If if prior to the twenty first century you went over, and even then in the twenty first century, there's no guarantee you're gonna be found. So I imagine that my New Yorkers that are listening are unfortunately familiar with this. I had a not so good feeling about this story. Then it gets updated that the Children have different fathers. And the father of the five-month-old that the mother is said to have still wanted to reconcile with had made the choice that he did not want to be with her romantically. I'm like, okay, that could drive someone to that. That does not mean that's why the person did it. Now it's surfacing that that was the likely reason. There was a witness that is being interviewed as we speak that is traumatized. Because while this woman walks to this waterfall with whatever issue she had, she didn't realize that committing this act of unaliving her children and herself was going to traumatize someone. It happened that fast. The, the nine-year-old son didn't see it coming. Soon as they approached well enough, she just took and tossed him right over that waterfall. Then in succession, the five-month-old baby girl. Then she immediately leaped to her own unaliving. Yeah, I just... Because people who knew them were like, oh, let's just pray about it and la, la, la. And now we're crying mental illness. But can we really make this solely mental illness when it's something about you don't really know what people are hiding? I don't know this woman, okay? So I'm just going to speak on this based on what has happened. 
if you pick up a nine-year-old child and you throw them over a steep waterfall, you were intending to unalive them. Because that nine-year-old had nothing to do with your relationship but knew in those last few seconds of his life that his own mother had picked him up and threw him over there. And, and as of today, of this recording, which I recorded this on the 2nd of November, but it'll come out a little after that. All that boy probably knew is that his single mother loved him. You know of the second father, but who was the father of that nine-year-old boy? And see, the reason I say this is, is that I have to extend grace because I don't yet know if he made the choice to not be in the child's life or if he actually loved his son. Because see, from the articles I've been reading that I can flesh out, they don't mention his father. Does he? Did he even know that he was a father of a child? As for that five-month-old baby, she knew who the father was and was probably in regular contact and wanted that relationship to go farther than it was going to go, but it didn't. This, if I can't live, you can't live either stuff. You can't make this full mental illness because if this was something with her, most people with mental illnesses will disappear and leave their children alone. And you want me to believe that after a man decided he no longer wanted a relationship with you because nothing in that article said he didn't want a relationship with that child, that five month old baby girl. So now you're live, leaving him to live with the guilt of the fact that he had a right to reject you. And I know this is harsh because here's the thing. Again, I'm, I'm trying not to go hard on her because she could have had some issues. But between the, the witness who we don't know yet, there were several witnesses, but there was one in particular they're honing in on. You've already traumatized them because they didn't know that that's what you were going to do. We know of one father who's traumatized because now he doesn't know if his five-month-old baby girl's uh, remains will ever be recovered. And that nine-year-old boy, you know he was old enough to know in those last seconds what was going on. Everybody, we're getting together in forgiveness and prayer. It's not for me to hate this woman because I did not know her. But whatever her internal issues were, she should have turned those children over to relatives and gave that baby to the father. There are people every day in the United States now, which... Ideally, a healthy, happy marriage would be where you bring a child into the world first. Who break things off and have now decided to co-parent. Had never been married, but decide to co-parent. They don't take it to this extreme. I don't even wish that she leaped over this waterfall. This is something that I would sincerely hope she wouldn't have done this to herself. But at a minimal, couldn't the children have lived? Because you don't know what their lives would have been like. You just know that something went wrong for you and you committed this act. I've heard of people who leaped over Niagara Falls with the attempt of trying to unalive themselves and survive. Now that's traumatic right there. A whole lot don't live. If you can survive that, you for tough. Oh my goodness. This is a tragedy either way around. I'm sorry for people who may be praying for her, but to to toss those children over that waterfall was premeditation. There is no way of getting around this. She can't be prosecuted because they don't know if she survived. It's highly unlikely. 
The sad part about this is just about everyone who knew her didn't see this coming. Sad all around, y'all. I didn't want, I don't want anyone to go in this way. But at a minimum, can we please start sparing the children? They're the innocent in this. <laughs>